We welcome you back to Jacksonville, Georgia, and Florida, tied at 31. Let's go uh, through the overtime rules. A coin toss will decide possession. The offense will start at the opponent's 25-yard line. Each team keeps the ball until scoring or failing to make a first down. And uh, noteworthy, beginning with the third overtime, teams must attempt a two-point conversion after a touchdown. Well, so does anybody have an advantage? I would say that going into this, you'd have to give the advantage to Georgia because of the better field goal kicker. Besides that, I think it's dead even. Matt Austin is explaining to the group at midfield about the overtime rules. You see the Georgia bunch. Mike Pouncey. Matt Elam. Laurentry McClay, McCray. And the Georgia Bulldog sideline. They were down 21-7 was Georgia. At the halftime break, Florida looked to be completely in command. But uh, this tenacious Georgia team dominated the third quarter, scored 10. Ultimately tied it up 24 all. And then uh, having fallen behind to Florida 31 24, came back and tied it up, went for two and got it. AJ Green came alive in the last drive. He got the wild card with Orson Charles at tight end. Charles not in there right now, is it? Caleb King is the deep back, and Charles is not. That's A.J. Green starting in motion. Play action. Kane with another good block. One-on-one -on -one in the end zone for Durham. And Ahmad Black almost had the interception. Had the matchup again that they wanted. Durham 6-5 matched up against the safety. Ball was not thrown exactly where Durham wanted it, and Black almost had a shot at it. Durham comes off. Tavares King comes on. At wide receiver, there's King, 63-yard touchdown catch. That seems so long ago. I saw Bruce Figgins out there, the third-team tight end. And Orson Charles is also in on this play. Yeah, it's all alone out here. Two best players matched up against. No help. Blitz. King. Maybe the 23. Looks more like the 24. Florida loaded the box that time and dared Georgia to throw again. Now three defenders off the field as Trey Burton. 51-yard touchdown run among other contributions he's made today. Third and nine. Just can't get a sack here if you're Aaron Murray. Obviously nothing bad. The incompletion is not the worst thing with your with the field goal kicker. Here's the snap, three-man rush. Murray down the middle, tip, intercepted. Will Hill. Down the sidelines, Murray's the only man who can stop him. There's the block on Murray. He's still going. No signal yet. Still no signal. Yep, I think his left foot came out. I got him out. I got him out. Now remember, Florida doesn't get the ball in the half yard line. They get the ball back on the 25. That's right. Rolling on the field. Ball carrier went out of bounds at the one yard line. It'll be Florida's ball, first and 10. His left foot went out before he reached it over. See his toe on the line? Watch his left toe. 
Tavares King, you know what? Murray did a good job of slowing him down, and then King comes across and pushes him out right before the game was over. It's the left foot ruled out of bounds. Here we go. That one is blocked. Now you can't tell where the can't ball is it. relative to well, the... Well, you can't uh, see his foot either. Here's one, our best look. Yep, one more one more step right here. It's out, and the ball is short. First down from the 25-yard line in my mind. What a big difference. That's why I'm not a big overtime rules guy in college football. Our truck is saying he might have gone out even at the five. Mm. Very close. Left foot again, obviously. Yep. Either way, good job. Somebody noticed it. Again, Jim Allison is the replay official. And overtime rules, they get the ball back at the 25. You got to give the officials a kudos on this one. They chased it down. Remember, they're chasing down elite athletes. And they were right on the call. This isn't an overturn. They got it right. That was the one thing Aaron Murray couldn't do, was throw the ball. He had a guy right in his face when he threw it. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. The ball carrier stepped out of bounds short of the goal line. He floored his ball, first and 10 of 25. Well, first of all, let's go back and look at the play. Pressure up front in Murray's face, comes right up the gut here into Murray, and then over the middle, the ball gets tipped back. Watch Murray gets pressure up front. The ball goes high. It was tipped. Was it Bostic that tipped it? Number 52. Could have been Jelani Jenkins. Could have been Jenkins. 43. 43 yeah. Yes. See the hand in his face. Yes, it was Jenkins. Good eye, Vern. Jelani Jenkins tipped it. And, and Will Hill ran. Rainy. Off the suspension list after a five-game absence. And he has had a, well, Will Hill. Well, remember for Will, even if they don't, it's Florida that gets the ball again. So he's got time. If Florida doesn't score or misses a field goal, Florida starts another series. Second and seven. Not a great field goal kicker. You got to let him put three points on the board. But Florida's field goal kicker ended the drought a while ago. He was 0 for 4. Oh, he's got a man open. Rainey tipped away at the last minute. That's Sean Williams, number 36. That's funny. Now, I thought that he wasn't open. I thought Sean Williams had a beat on this one. I went, this, is, this could be a disaster. Sean Williams was all over the play. And I thought that was just too dangerous of a throw. I'll defer. <laughs> I gave you the one before, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we share and share alike. Now, what does he do? What does Urban do? Does he trust his field goal kicker and run it right into the middle of the field and give him a field goal try to win it? You know, a running play could pick up the first down. Seven. They'll throw it. Swing pass. Caught. Out of bounds. It's going to be up to Chaz Henry. Yep, left hash. Well, that was a nice change up. They had the running quarterback in there, but they threw the ball. Chaz Henry came on in place of Caleb Sturgis. Sturgis, an outstanding place kicker for Florida, finally yielded to a stress fracture in his lower back. They thought they'd get him back. This week, they did not. Chaz Henry for the win. Do they ice him? Oh, they will. 37 yards. You can tell that was coming. Yep. Watch a mark. Yep, time out. <laughs> this is fun, isn't it? My gosh. Well, Chaz Henry. 
He hit his first two when he first replaced Caleb Sturgis, but he missed that big one against Mississippi State wide right. That was his first field goal attempt today from the right hash. He then, oh boy, knuckled it in. Showed some emotion. And now Chaz Henry, the senior punter, as Aaron Murray can do not but uh, say a small prayer. Henry. Yeah, of all his interceptions, the one Aaron's going to regret the most is that last one. John Fairbanks will snap it. John Crowfoot will hold it. Chaz Henry will kick it. This is for the victory. Oh, it could be good. It is good. Florida wins. The senior from 37 yards out. My old friend Ben Agajanian would say, good snap, good hold, good kick. Couldn't get it more in the middle than that one. Well, he had to live with one when he missed it. Will Hill said, I almost finished it myself. And Mark Richt. Well, expectorate this. Yeah, it's, a, it's a tough league, but you know what? The Gators still control their own destiny. If they win out, we'll see them in Atlanta. Chaz Henry from 37. Gators prevail. For Tracy Wolfson, Gary.